Hey, it's the Nerdy Sports Fan. We're giving out draft grades and we're into the AFC South. Let's see what Houston did. Um, let's start things off. Overall, I give this draft a C. Um, yeah, I, I didn't agree with a lot of the valuation here. So, um, pick number 23 in round one, they went with Titus Howard. I think they easily could have picked him up in the second round. Um, not a lot of teams or prognosticators had him rated this high. Um, coming out of Alabama State, you wonder about his level of competition. He's very physically gifted. Um, but again, did he really compete against anybody who was on his level? I don't think he did. So you wonder about that. So I think that's a bit of an overdraft. Lonnie Johnson Jr. at corner out of Kentucky, I think was overdrafted. Um, I think there were other corners that were more talented that were still available. And you worry always about defensive secondary players that are drafted. If they had a lot of defensive line talent on that team that made their job easier with bad passes thrown in their direction. And Josh Allen came out of Kentucky. So you have one of the better edge rushers in the country making your job easier. I wonder if that's what made his statistics and film look as good as what they did. Um, Max Sharping, offensive tackle out of Northern Illinois. I think it was great value for where they picked him. Um, offensive tackle is a position of huge, huge, huge importance and need for this team especially. Uh, their quarterback was on his back more than Vegas hookers, okay? And they needed to fix that. So, you know, Sharping is a great pick. Uh, personally, in my mock draft for them, I had them go on offensive line with their first four because it's so important to this team. So having two of those top four picks addressing offensive line, needed and very smart. Um, Kahale Waring, tight end out of San Diego State, I just, there were other tight ends available that I had a much higher grade on, okay? Um, it's a neat position for the team. The guy's a good blocker. So again, you're addressing some serious need for this team, uh, but you, you could have done better at that position with where you drafted him. Um, Charles Omanihu, uh, defensive end out of Texas, I actually think was a good value. Um, I had him at a fourth round talent. They got him late in the fifth. So that's very, very good. Um, but again, it's way later in the draft when you're getting value picks. It doesn't mean as much. Um, overall, the Texans did a good job addressing their needs. I just don't agree with where they valued these players. I, I think there were other people available at those positions that they could have picked up and done far better with pretty much all of their first five picks outside of Max Sharping. So they had the right idea. They just didn't execute it right. I'm sorry, Houston. I don't agree with uh, how your front office handled this draft. And you get a C.